Fuck, that's all the words I wanted to say. Dex. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah. I can do too much of anything. Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm Harry. <laughs> I'm Richard. Ah, welcome to the Dead Ducks. Yeah, look Dead at this Ducks. shit. I'm rocking the playoff hockey jersey today. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, boy. I'm working out very often. I'm just showing my skeleton cleavage. Uh, so how y'all doing today? Yeah, how the fuck are you? Good? All right. Yeah, not you, them. No. <laughs> no, they didn't answer me. Rude bricks. Yeah. We'll figure that technology out one of these days where we can video <laughs> talk to people. <coughs> yeah, I've heard rumors of such things. Yeah, it might happen. <clears throat> well, old Richard, what the fuck we talking about today, bud? We're talking about still live indie games. The old indie about. game. Get off my chair. God damn it, you get off your, you your chair. You drop me on my own head. Shit. Uh, these are games that... Uh, interested in or have talked to have some 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 sort of quasi relationship with or both really uh just because i talked to them wouldn't mean i'd mention them here and they'll never admit they're associated with us in any aspect whatsoever no, and not I, even if they've talked we to don't us. blame them at all no don't blame them at all it's usually mm -hmm. just me talking i'll just you know blurt out to people hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we're gonna youtube channel my Hi. name's richard Hi, i'm richard youtube come look at youtube <laughs> <laughs> Sell me shit. Uh, <coughs> I don't. Some of them do have thrown in free stuff, just to be kind to us, which is very nice of them. Cause you know we're not really worthy of that. Bless your heart. Yeah, I don't ever ask. Uh, I don't ask for shit, but yeah, it's uh, to bless your heart, lay your head down, pumpkin. That's right. Uh, so well, these are not in any particular order. Just the order I happen to think of them in. So uh, first one, I am champion. They are, their website is still up. Don't know if you've heard of them. Pretty sure they had a Kickstarter. Uh, they've got a real 90s nostalgic thing, and they lean into it, too, in all their communications and on their Discord. Everything's like radical and bodacious and shit. Some over-the-top 90s channeling. But it's a, it's a very simplistic gameplay, and you can play right out of a pack. Um, I really love the artwork on the thing, though. It's great. And I don't have any to show. Uh, that one is, is worth checking out. You can get into, get some packs. Since you can play out of a single pack, get into a pretty cheap. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> oh, cosplay deviants. Hmm. If you like, what we say, healthy girls, <laughs> thick, thick, thick girls, uh, scantily dressed and nerd shit, cosplay deviants, that's for you, buddy. On a trading card. On a trading card. You can even play a game. Sure. So, oh, I should play those on YouTube, <laughs> but you can play a game. Some straight up ripped off mechanics. I don't even open them on YouTube. I own some of these. Yeah. If I ever see anything this freaky, I gotta buy some. I love the all of the non PC shit. I'm in immediately. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, but yeah. Anyway, chunky girls and cosplay. Uh, it gets le the word gets less nice the more I say it. <laughs> chunky girls. Oh, it was healthy. It was thick. That's <laughs> <was> chunky. <laughs> Uh, mm. Roar, Battle for Cortan. <laughs> <laughs> well researched there, bud. I'm pretty sure I said it right. Uh, Cortan. It's Abu Dhabi for Cortan. Cortan, yeah. Cortan. <laughs> Cortan. 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 I'll be Cortan. I'm Cortan them girls from Cosplay Deviants. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Uh, so that one is, uh, they just, booster boxes are pretty recent to their website. Uh, all of these are either still available for sale. They're being made in some capacity. Most of them have their own standalone website you can purchase from. So far, all three of the ones I've mentioned do. Uh, so yeah, booster boxes have been on sale, at least for... This may not be out quick enough. For December to 80 bucks, they were 100 bucks. But It's RPG 2. They got RPG books. They got... You know, you can buy some loose packs. They got all kinds of shit. Pretty slick looking game. Uh, very intrigued by that one. Uh, number four, Legions of Will. Uh, we just opened some, which who knows our, the way our order of our videos are, but uh, today in the real world, we opened some Legions of Will, mm -hmm. and we both liked it. Yep. 
they're doing, from what I can tell, everything's pure indie and pure on their website. I don't think they've done crowdfunding. Uh, all of them are really low run print, uh, low print runs on their booster boxes, which excites me. Uh, I think it's like three and five hundred, uh, <clears throat> and there's still at least the latest one is still available. They did for Black Friday just bring back a few scraps of the other ones, but they're probably gone. But anyway, that was worth checking out. Uh, you're gonna have to like fuck shit up in the this video or something, Harry. It's I am boring and me rambling. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see Sketchbook Chronicles so <laughs> don't really fuck shit up no. startle me I'm old I'll have a heart attack oh that would get the views man <laughs> let's do it fat bastard dies on camera <laughs> it'd be millions of views fuckers <clears throat> become shock tubers a, ske a Sketchbook Chronicles old soaps opens packs of his stuff today too yep uh, he's got a few more left I'm not sure if he's gonna make more I mean, he makes them basically on demand. He's he's truly homemade. It's a homemade CCG through and through. Does the artwork, does the mechanics, prints them out, cuts them, puts them in packs, tapes them up, sends them to you. And I had an awesome little hand-drawn thing on the envelope that he sent me. I'd show Is it, it over there. Yeah, it's somewhere. Yeah, I think it's under the Dark Age box on the right side. And show off Soaps' work. It's pretty fucking nice for something you throw in an envelope. Eh. Eh. That probably ain't showing up worth a shit. Can you see? <laughs> <laughs> probably look like hot garbage. In real in the yeah. real world, it's really fucking sharp. Uh, I ain't taking a picture of that either. Uh, Looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's real good. It's Christmassy. You forget. Uh, so Soaps makes good shit. That's a really cool game. We can certainly call it indie. He's making it out of his kitchen. So yeah. How much more indie can you get? Not much. Uh, oh crap is still running. We opened the box. Have we, we, yeah, we put that box up. Uh, yeah, we did. I think so. Um, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Grabbed another box from him on Black Friday. Uh, that's a game where all of the cards are shit jokes. Actual jokes about shit. Like Britney Smears. Hmm. Uh, it looks, it's, it's pretty awesome to collect. And they actually have chase cards and shit in there. But that one's still running. Let's go and check it out. Chaos Consuming is still going. He kind of paused for a little bit, but he might be wrapping up the tail end of his Kickstarter fulfillment, but he still got stuff out on Game Crafter, uh, and he is still moving forward. He's wrapping up the comic. Still making additional cards. Not too long ago, we got like a test deck that he sent yeah. over from Game Crafter. That's one we've talked about quite a bit uh, as far as these go games go, and had two or three openings out there, maybe four. Yeah. I think we have three openings and a discussion, whatever whatever the fuck that means. Yeah, he's been cool enough to send us a few things. And, yeah. Uh, I bought some shit from him. He just sent me some shit and a little <clears> bit of both. But love the fucking art. Love the artist he's picking on that, that shit. Very dark aesthetic. Uh, that's worth checking out. Uh, Dan is not a CCG, but I don't think I said this was a CCG list. You just said live indie games. Live indie games. And it is. That counts. Uh, <clears throat> They're working on overhauling a couple things, uh, change some stuff there. I think they're close to coming out with a new deck or two. Uh, so you just buy fixed decks, and that's if you've never haven't seen us talk about Den, it's very intriguing. It's a pretty cheap price of entry to get in and get a deck, and then there's all these hidden puzzles. What do you call that shit again, Harry? Uh, a A R G A R G. Yeah, where you're like uh, solving these puzzles, and they're giving you a URL, and then you're going to a website, and it has like. A fake blog or fake or an audio or video clips all sorts of different media that you're trying to solve this mystery of the game so it isn't just a cool looking card game but it also has a whole it's a whole lot more to it trying to solve all the puzzles so den's very cool uh fuck i'm tired of my own goddamn voice that happens pretty quick <laughs> fuck, how do people stand to list them? they don't do they like no two they're, minutes they're, they're yeah they're gone They've been gone for a while. We're nine minutes in. They've been gone for seven. I made it to nine before I wanted to shoot myself in the face, but <laughs> it is me you were talking about. So. Once again, that would get us lots of views. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you know, whatever. I'm down to, for whatever. Then I have to do all the talking. I don't know that I'm going to do all the talking. <laughs> You'll just turn the camera off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, rise. Uh, it's uh, still going. They've, you know, their first uh, base set was complete. Uh, yeah. Kickstarted and done and fulfilled and was badass. 
Uh, and then they made their collector set next product, Prestige, which we hopefully will have our hands on very soon. That's by uh, Francois the <clears throat> Pussy Slammer, right? Francois the Pussy Getting Boy. Yep, that's him. And he's already working on the next set as well. Uh, Candyland Apocalypse? Candy Apocalypse. Close enough. Yeah, you were very close. Uh, that's in the works. I don't know if that'll be Kickstarted or sold direct. Not sure that he said that, but he has said he's actively working on it. He's got his head down cranking away on set two. One of the sexiest fucking games you could ever open. We got BFF uh, Clovers. We mentioned that a few times, though. Yeah. I ain't showing them again. Be our best friend cards. Yep. From our buddy Justin. Our buddy Justin. Uh, and the last one. God mm. damn. The last <laughs> one. <laughs> Fuck, I hate my voice. Cycles of Moss. Uh, <clears throat> so we talked about that a long time ago. Anybody that stuck with us for a while would have heard it. They shut it down. They shut down the site. You can't buy it anymore right now. But they have said on the Discord that they're at least toying with the idea of bringing it back in, in maybe a slightly altered form. So turning in, it was like you pick 15 cards and that's your cards and you play any you want with some rules around the turns. But they're thinking about going with the deck structure where you randomly draw cards. Uh, and I don't know if they change cards with that or what. But I love the looks of that game. Love Tim Kaminsky's art. Trace is involved in the game. He's he's a cool dude. They seem like real good guys, and the game's cool. Art's great. I have a print. I really want to get on my wall soon. But mm -hmm. hopefully they bring that back, and that is still live. That one's what do you call it? Quasi, quasi live, zombified. Fuck, that's all the words I wanted to say. Whew. That's yeah. How many games was that? Mm, that's too many to count. Ten. Sure. I think that's ten games. That's a nice clean number. I didn't even mean to do that. Yep. <laughs> So if you want to check out some small indie shit, uh, there's some stuff you should get into. So. Yeah, support these guys, gals, and probably all guys. Probably guys, yeah. yeah. Uh, looking back through that list, yeah, that's guys. Yeah. Uh, I mean, fuck's sake, yeah, they, they work a lot harder than we do. Shit, <laughs> fuck. All right, well, fuck how I do then. Oh, good enough. God damn, I wish I'd shut the fuck up, buddy. <laughs> uh, 